Okay, welcome to this short tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show how to create a free spline surface by, from tangent controllers. So for doing that, I have to create first our tangent controllers. So let's do that. So please, the first things I'm going to do is just cancel my camera and go to the top view. So I have to create four tangent controllers. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create the origins of those tangent controllers. So I'm going to place four points. And I'm going to save this transaction. The second thing that I have to do is I have to create two points for each one of these points to create those tangent controllers. So I'm just going to place one point next to the points that I create first. And the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to save the transaction and I'm going to edit this transaction. So I just have to hit right button and hit edit transaction. Here is where I can edit and I can change values of the points that I create. So the thing, the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to copy the code of this four points that I create, copy, and I'm going to paste them after the point 08, which is the last point that I create. So now I have to change the names of these points. So these are the points that I just create here. So this one's going to be point 09, since the previous one was point 08. This one is going to be point 10. 11 and 12. I'm going to add a value in the Z trans trans translation so I can these points be have be up of the points that I the be up of the points that I created before. So let's add a cha uh, let's change zero value into 10 in the four of them. But I'm going to keep the free value so I can still move in them. So I have to hit OK. And the transaction is off. So I just have to turn it on again. And if I go to the perspective view, I can see that these are the points that I create in the edit transaction. So now that we have our points, let's create our tangent controllers. So we have to go to new features and we have to choose double tangent controller we're gonna do it by origin and direction and points so the origin is gonna be the point of one which is the four points the first four points that I create the X point is gonna be the first point that I create next to it and the Y point is the one that I create in top of that one so I'm going to hit OK and I have my first tangent control. So let's create a copy and let's do it again in the other three points. So the origin point for this one it's bigger. It's going to be 0.02 Let's hit OK. The X point is going to be 0 0.06. And the Y point is going to be 0 0.10. And hit OK. Let's create copy. And let me change the view so that we can see better. OK. The origin is going to be 0 0.03 for this one. The X point is going to be 0 0.07. And the Y point is going to be 0 0.11. OK. So let's create a copy. Let's create the last one. Instead of being 0 0.03, it's going to be 0 0.04.
0.07 is going to be 0 0.08 and y point is going to be 0 0.12 let's hit OK and hit OK so now we have our four tangent controllers let's save the transaction and we see here in our symbolic diagram we have our points and our four tangent controllers one two three and four so now for creating our surface let's go to new feature let's go to the option of this line surface and we're gonna do it from tangent controllers let's open this option now it's a, it's a little bit tricky the way that we have to to write the four that we have to write the inputs for creating our surface we have to choose first we have to tell them where which ones are the the first pair of tangent controllers and I'm gonna create my surface using tangent controller 01 tangent controller 02 and these two are gonna work in the direction in that direction I'm going to use the tangent controller 3 and tangent controller 4 so that means that tangent controller 1 is gonna work with tangent controller 4 and the tangent controller 2 is going to work with the tangent controller 3 so for doing that I have to open curly braces I have to open two of them and I'm going to select them from my model I'm going to select the tangent controller 01 and, hit comma, and I'm going to use tangent controller 02 so I can select them here from the symbolic type and I'm going to close curly braces and open again curly braces and I'm going to select the 1 is going to work with the 4 so I have to type select first tangent controller 4 and then since the tangent controller 02 was my second position it's going to work with the 3 and I'm going to close two curly braces because I opened two. So this should look something like this. One and two. One is working with four and two is working with three. So let's hit OK and hit OK. Now I have my surface. So let's change the view let's go to monochrome with shadows for example and this is very this is a very nice feature because we can add a lot of variation to it we can play a lot with this surface if we move each of each of the points of this controller we're gonna see that the surface is changing right so we can add a lot of variation to it we can start creating something something really interesting and we can see how parametrically the surface is is being transformed by the controllers that we create so I can every time that I move something the surface it's working with them so this is a very nice feature where you're gonna have a lot of movement and you can add a lot of variation and you can just start playing with it and you can create a surface in a different way so I hope that you guys learned something that's all for this short tutorial and please if you have any questions suggestions please go to the forum and pose your questions let's say about this transaction and remember that if you don't know how to create a, a feature you can always go to 
the example button. The way to do it is just go to a new feature and select any feature that you want. And the example button is going to pull up. So you, you just have to hit it. And here is going to be an example of how to create that feature. If you want to continue learning and something about and doing research inside Unity Components, please go to the next tutorials or explore the wiki where there's a lot of resources and we're going to continue working on it. So remember, if you have any questions, go to the forum and the GC team will be happy to answer your questions. Thank you.